Our lithops begin to flower here in October in New Mexico. We pollinate them and they start to make their fruits. By February and March, they begin their leaf change. This takes about two to three months to complete. By May, the fruits are dry and ready to be harvested. Hey everybody, this is Aaron from Mesa Garden. I'm here to show you today. Um, it's March 10th and all the leaves are starting to change on the lithops and I thought it'd be cool for you guys to see the new leaf change. Um, and then also I'd like to show you like some other things that are also changing their leaves and just so you can kind of get a get a view for what what happens this time of year. Let's take a look at Lithops pseudotruncatella dendritica. You can see this one has great fine lines, but inside you can see that that thing is changing. And so right now we're not watering these guys because if you do, then they, you have a chance that they'll rot. When you see these leaves start to change, that's when we stop watering. And this one is Lithops gracilis walderone AE. You can see the new leaves are much more vibrant. This is Lithops vericulosa. You can see the new leaves are really dark in there. And it'll absorb these old ones. And sometimes the leaves get really thinned out. Look at how thin the skin is on that. It's just really thin. And here's a non-lithops plant that's changing leaves. This is Dentoranthus Wilmont Aeneas, subspecies Impactus. Another non-lithops plant, this is Didymaeotis lapidaris. And you can see these are the new leaves and it'll shed these and it'll absorb them. And these are great because they flower on both sides of the plant. It's really cool. And these are Argyroderma testicular. And you can see inside those new leaves really bright and ready. They're really smooth. They're going to shed these old ones and absorb them. And here's a smaller version of the Argyroderma testicular. Uh, it's actually flowering right now. And these leaves are changing. You can kind of see how they're bulged out there in the center. And that means they're getting ready to go. And you can see that the monolarias are starting to uh, go into their summer phase. And these are the fruits that we made this year. And these will dry up and just become like little sticks. And here's like a super dramatic change. This is Plyspilos nellii, and the uh, cultivar is, is Royal Flush. And look at how dark these new leaves are. And if I put some water on these, they would really shine and look amazing. All right, let's go down and look at uh, Greenhouse 7. That's where we have most of our lithops. And there's Joelle. Hey. It's Joelle! What are you doing? I'm picking seeds. You're picking seeds? And how do you do that? Um, so, let me move that. Basically, you just find the little dry ones, which are all left over from last year and you just try and be super delicate so you don't tear the plant and just try and pull it off. Look at that. Yay! <laughs> Those shiny fresh fruits of Lapidaria margaret. Here we have uh, Plyspilos belusi. And you can see there's a couple fruits there, and then there's a new set of leaves right in there. Two fruits. Pretty cool. And here's some Lithops hooker eye. See these margins getting really light. Yeah. The 
Bath also at Siniana. This is the Chesky Garnet. These are just some little plants, but you can see the leaf change is pretty dramatic. There's some larger plants right there. Let's see right there. There's Lithops marmorata. These little leaves are just really pushed out. Up there. This is Dentoranthus pole evansi. Alright, let's go to Greenhouse 12. And this is Caradopsis brownii. Let's see, these are the new leaves, and they'll absorb these. Set here. Oh, this is just like the normal growing habit, but it, it, this is this is a transition. It's actually going to absorb these leaves and push out these. This is Gibbium album. are a lot lighter and whiter. The old leaves are like pinkish. Argyrodon, Personia. Love to see the new leaves. Thanks for watching our video today, guys. Please like and subscribe. Please follow us on Instagram at Mesa Garden Plants. If you'd like to know more about Mesa Garden, please visit our website at www.mesagarden.com.